Okay. This video is to show off my, well, one of my binders I've made all my art in here. This is not one of some, some of the text, well, okay, so this is my binder, this is my binder, this is the picture. I haven't finished my last one too, but this is one of my first, very first, um, fan arts I've, I did. It's like the first fan art fan art I ever did. Um, you can see it now. This is the Fujiko Mon from Lupin the Third. And this is another, my second fan art. This is also a Fujiko Mon. Um, you can see that. That was really simple. And this is my second one I ever did. But I also have some different art. This is my first picture I ever drew from my head. Um, as you can tell, she's a Nico. Um, this is way back in the day. And this is a picture... This is a picture I actually copied off the... I didn't copy and re like, copy copy, put a piece of paper over it and just like, plucked and traced it. I actually, like, scanned the picture and, like, drew it. Um kind of hard because of my webcam is like all weird but this is like let me put this in here like it's it's like really complicated from the angle of the camera this is like a a chibi that I never finished this is just um a water maiden spirit head I never finished and this is okay this is gonna make sense a little because this is all pencil and it's like not showing up. This is just a character. Um, up close she looks a lot better, but if I took it on my webcam, it'll take me forever to put back up. But I may do one where I'm actually just holding the webcam and filming the penciled ones. So I may go back and do a different video. Um, this is a character I did. Her name is Shizumi. This is these three over here were and started out drawing she is this and she developed into this and she's kind of growing this is um a picture for uh it's actually well it's a type of drawing style me and my friends had it called SDVA which stands for the Suspected Disease Blob Association it's like it's, it's kind of different it's kind of weird and this is some more drawings this is like my favorite drawing of it um it actually looks cooler on camera than it does in real life. It's a lot smoother looking on the camera and the shading's a lot better. But it's still pretty cool. And this is one of the little things I drew. I'm probably gonna do a closer close up of some of these pictures. Um another one. The there's a funny story between the yellow mushroom with the pink glow. Um, my friend was laying in his bed one day and he said he saw, like, something on the ceiling. His ceiling that was like a yellow mushroom with a pink glow around it, so. I drew that because of that, and this is just a cool, I love this type of hair. It was just this, and it's bald, and it's got sideburns and hair, and it's, like, really cool. I wish I could get my hair like that, but I can't. Um... This is also another really cool drawing that I really, really love. I love the bottom. I love how I did the boobs and just the overall just style is my style. It's how I do stuff. This is like old art. This is, this one is newer than this one. This is like so old. It's done in marker and it's like when I first started out drawing. Um... This one's also during the same time this one was created, so it's one of my first drawings. Um, this one I actually got an idea from from this person I was following on DeviantArt. Um, I love this picture. It's um done in watercolor and it's really it's actually really cool. It's when we had our SDVA thing going, um, watercolor paintings, not, it's just more of a new, um, 
more CDA stuff, um, done in watercolor, um, <laughs> we just, me and my friend who created the FDA started this because, done this because he has a friend named Tempest that is afraid of Grimace, just afraid of Grimace for like no apparent reason, and so we made this and it's like, Grimace wants to take you to eat at McDonald's, well, Grimace actually eats you, so, um, I kind of done the teeth and he's kind of done the whole grimace and I've done the hip claws and the little thing and it's like um this is just a replace it kind of reminds me of the gremlins um more SDDA type stuff it's um like a mermaid woman and this is like a little um embryo type thing it's totally unfinished. She's like a mermaid, but it's totally unfinished. I do that a lot. I don't finish some of my pictures. Um, this is a redrawing of a picture I've done of a Na Naruto scene. Like, when I was really into Naruto, I did an OC. And her name is Kari, and she's from the Hinsan village. And the picture, like, is the way I draw now is, like, really a lot better than the screenshots. I redraw a lot of my old art. Um, this and this was done at school, and this is like a bunny girl. Um, I'm actually going to develop that character into something for my apocalyptic pretty Tumblr page, and she's going to be like a like a logo type character for me. This is just like done in pen, and I was just like bored, and I got it. And I really like that because of the shading. It's just shading practice and um, more SDDA stuff. This this is a redrawing of this, but done differently because I like this more now. Um, character I done his little sketch for it. I started off with a little mini sketch and worked my way up into a big one. Same with this big one. I worked off my little mini sketches I done for the outfit and everything and I turned it into a big one. I really like the shading of the hair. It's done in pencil and everything's done in pencil. This, I believe, this was actually going to turn out to be this. This is what I originally intentionally tried to draw, but it kind of turned into this, and I like this a lot better. I like how I've done the bunny ears, and her face, and the hair, and everything. And, um, if you can't tell, I really love tentacles. Tentacles are just like my, I just love it. I love it. And, um, just adding things together, so I really love her. I was originally wanting to make her hair blonde, but I shaded the hair too dark, so I'm not going to actually color the hair. I'm just going to leave everything like it is. But I did add some pink to the ears, and she has no eyes. You can tell because I haven't added it, and I'm not planning on to because it's just me. This, I love. It's like a love. It's um actually the name of the picture is entitled love comes in all forms and you got this snake woman up here i love how it done her bottom cute and this is the man she's in love with and she's reaching out to him and he's got a spear and it's just it's supposed to be love like beautiful i did not close or anything to him because i don't finish my art a lot but this was supposed to be a really great picture i got this inspiration from a uh, kid in my class who also draws anime, he doesn't take it um, step by step like I do, and this is doing Valentine's Day, that's when I've done that, so. Um, I really like the shading of this kid's face, as you can tell on the camera, it's like very well shaded. And this is just an outline of a woman, and I was making, here's a little outfit design, I'm just going to put it on there, but I just didn't finish the putting her together. Um, these are more recent. These are just sketches I done at school. Like while I was 
sitting and working and stuff. Like, I was supposed to be, like, working, but there's nothing for me to do most of the time, so I just did my own business. Um, this is was going to be a character from my apocalyptic city, but I decided I'm not going to use this. I'm going to go with the bunny girl and stuff. Cause this is her in more of a big realistic style. And this is my, like, little cartoon style. And, um... This is another character I was trying to do for it, and this is her little thing, so. Um, over that, at that, is, a uh, a big drawings I like to do of women. Um, it's just more for, like, practice of figure drawing and stuff, which I do a lot, and you see my little figure drawings and stuff I was doing, which aren't that bad, but I never... It's just for practice. I don't do a whole lot of men because the men are basically just women with um, a straighter torso and no boobs and a lot different. So I do women more because they're more complex figures to do because of all the curves. So that help the women characters help me draw the male characters. That's how I got. Mm, let's see if I can find it again. Like this drawing, the woman figure was more complicated, but after doing the woman, the male characters was a lot easier to do. So I, I draw women figures a lot more because it's what I first started out doing. I love doing it more because there's so much more ideas you can go with women than you can with men. But I do have one male character that I absolutely love and I draw him more than I do any other. I have drawn their male characters. I don't care for it as much, but yeah. Um, I may sit here and do another video on my second binder, which is right here, while my webcam is working. And I may go back and do a close up of some of these pictures that were done in pencil and were really light on the webcam. So if you like this, um, please follow me make comments, you can do harsh comments, it's really not going to hurt my feelings, like, oh, you suck at drawing, or blah, 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 I really don't care, okay, I know I suck at drawing, okay, you don't have to rub it in, I do this because it keeps, there's a lot of reason I like to draw, and I'm getting better, I want to draw to put my ideas on paper, and how I feel on paper, and everything I see in my head on paper, and make it more real. So, um, don't look for it because so many characters are need. Oh my god, grow up, be an adult. Okay. So, yeah. This is like a nearly 14 minute long video of my first binder, which doesn't really have all that many changes. <laughs> but, 